One of the challenges confronting the country is youth unemployment. This problem has over the years led to youth involvement in crime and other unpatriotic acts in the country. To reduce the problem, the present administration through the Industrial Training Fund, ITF, has been empowering the youth through its skills acquisition programs to make the youth self-reliant. We have in the studio the Director General of the Fund, Sir Joseph Ari, to tell us more about the efforts of the ITF to tackle unemployment in the country. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Ari. Thank you so much, Medina. Good to have you here. You're welcome. Undoubtedly, one of the biggest challenges confronting the country is unemployment. What is the ITF doing to address this problem? Well, as you rightly posited, unemployment has become a serious canker worm to our country and has posed a serious challenge even to national development. As a learning and development agency, the Industrial Training Fund has found out that uh, there is hardly a household in this country that does not have a graduate. And that means that we are sitting on a time bomb if something fast is not done. The universities and other institutions of higher learning year in year out produce millions of our young men and women who are qualified. Now, and it's not as if the government is not doing much. The government through the social economic diversification and industrialization policy of President Muhammad Buhari GCFR have done quite a lot and has created enormous jobs. But the number of the graduates and those seeking for employment coupled with the huge population of our country simply overwhelms government's efforts. And that is not all. The issue of unemployment is not the only menace. Another serious danger is underemployment. Well, that because of time, yes. we want to narrow it down to what your organization is doing here in terms of empowering you. What we tried to do, first of all, was to find out how we can move away from paper qualification. Mm -hmm. Because we have paid so much premium to paper qualification, and that has not helped our country. So we went into collaboration with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, right. in order to carry out an assessment survey on six critical sectors of the economy. And we found out a huge deficit, huge skill gap, you know, in the polity. For example, in the construction industry alone, we have a huge deficit of 19%. That is to say, the jobs are there, but we don't have Nigerians with the requisite qualifications to fill them. Mm. And so with that in mind, we decided now to develop initiatives and intervention programs. And we have so many of them. Can you give us some? Yes. For example, under the National Industrial Skills Development Program, where we carry out uh, skills training to equip young men and women you know, across the country, we've been able to train 450,000 you know, in the last two, two years. When my management and I came on board in 2016, we unveiled one of the ambitious uh, programs, you know, under the National Industrial Skills Development Program. And this covers the entire, you know, states in the country. For example, we are commencing this year's training in August, and uh, where 300 young men and women will be trained across the country in each state of the Federation including the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. And so this is not the only intervention program. We have one, again, specifically targeted you know, towards the women folk, okay. and that's known as the Women's Skills Empowerment Program, WOSEF. We have the Construction Skills Empowerment Program concept. We have the VF, which is meant for the Vulnerable Indigent Young Men Employment Program. And then we have the Training on Wheels, where we carry out our mobile workshops to nooks and crannies where you know training is difficult to access and we are able to get quite a number of people trained but that's not where we end it if you train a young person and you leave him on the street you've done nothing yeah i was going to ask uh, what follow-up or support service do you have for those you have trained yes. to ensure that the training received does not go down the drain uh what we have done is to also 
add another pep to it, and that is providing these trainees with the startup parts. In all the trades, we started with three trades initially when this program was unveiled. But now we've gone to 15, you know, 15 including photography, agripreneurship, welding and fabrication, plumbing and pipe fitting, plaster or parade, you name them, about 15 of them now. And so we get the startup packs for all the trainees who run the training for about three months or six months, and then they can set up on their own. And we have discovered from our monitoring and evaluation process through the tracking system of the ITF that more than 90% of those we have trained have either set up on their own or have even become employers of labor. labor. And this is the direction to go, actually. Okay, can you tell us your program of action for this year as regards skills acquisition training for unemployed Nigerians? Thank you very much. Uh, indeed, this morning at 10 o'clock at the Sheraton Hotels, uh, we should be unveiling the program for this year, 2019. We have tapped 2019 as the year of delivery. Delivery in the sense that we want Nigerians to have the benefits and the dividends of democracy through skills acquisition. Uh, skills today have become what many actors in the, in the industry call the dependable currency of the 21st century. And so it is something that we must really give focus to. And ITF is... to ITF. Well, most of the contributing employers have been complying by paying their statutory contribution, and we really appreciate them. However, there is still a large number that are not contributing, and we wish to encourage them to contribute because these contributions are for the upskilling of the Nigerian workforce, for increased productivity and overall growth of the national economy. And then we have brought another plan to it, and that is the aspect of reimbursement. We discovered in Nigeria that our employers of labor find it difficult to train the workforce. So what we do is to reimburse them as permitted in the act so that you encourage them to train the workforce and not only that, to also stimulate growth in the industries Industry. yes, and lubricate the wheel of production. We do wish that we have more time. Thank <laughs> you, Sir Joseph, for joining us on the news. That was the Director General of the Industrial Training Fund, Sir Joseph Ari on the efforts of the fund in tackling unemployment.